Hey everybody, Tim here with today's review of Titans, Season 2, Episode 6, Connor. This was a great episode. I really enjoyed this one. <clears throat> so, I know the, the last couple of episodes where it was, the, it was the whole episode about Aqualad, I didn't quite like that one, even though it was all about like that one particular character, because it was all flashback, and that's what kind of bothered me about it. Whereas this one, like, once again, it's kind of following that same formula from the first season, where it's like almost every other episode is about one specific character. And so this one's all about Connor, aka Superboy. And, like, I loved how it actually started with the post credit scene from Season 1. Which, if you guys didn't know that, the, the last episode of Season 1 had a post credit scene. It was the start of this one. Which, I'm not really a guy that usually watches all of the credits unless somebody gives me a heads up or warns me beforehand. And so, luckily I had already heard about it, and so I managed to see it. But otherwise, would have completely missed it, but after this episode it didn't really matter because it showed it anyway. Um, now, I know a little bit about Connor from the comics, and especially from Young Justice, and this Connor actually does remind me quite a bit from Young Justice, just with, like, his hybrid, like, DNA, um, a lot of his personality and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, the whole opening sequence was, like, hot. Like, just Connor walking around naked, I was actually really surprised. Like, this show seems to have more male nudity than female nudity. So, it kind of surprised me, but it was actually pretty interesting. Um, Mercy Graves makes an appearance, which is great. Uh, she's probably a well-known character. She was created for the animated series for Superman, just like Harley Quinn was created for the Batman animated series. And she's changed a lot over the years. Like, there's some interpretations where she's just a robot. There's some where she's an assassin. But, like, it, there's a lot of different mercies out there. Uh, this one seems to be human and kind of more on, like, the assassin-y type. Although she doesn't really do much. So it'll be interesting to see if they carry her character through and, like, exactly what she can and cannot do. <clears throat> Um, I did love the scene with the purse, like, that was fantastic, where he's like, you have money? <coughs> that was great. Um, him having memories of both Clark and Lex were really interesting. Um, now, so, the character of Lionel was more or less actually created for Smallville. Like, Lex Luthor's father had been in stuff previous, but he had had different names, and it was very, very minor appearances, Nine out of ten times when you hear Lionel Luther, you think of Smallville. You think of, like, John Glover's, like, his character. Um, that being said, <clears throat> I don't think they actually named his character in this episode. I think he was just Luther's father. Um, so that was kind of interesting. But this is also a very different version. Like, in this one, it looks like the Luthers actually started out very poor... And Lex is the one that kind of made all the money and made himself. He was a self-made man compared to, like I said, Smallville, where they were already a very rich business family. So um, it's not quite the Luther family that I'm used to. So it's kind of interesting to see where they're going to go. Uh, the whole line of crypto, I have a feeling we're in Kansas. Super cliche, also loved it. Like, the guy that plays Connor, I did not get what his name was, uh, is fantastic. Like, I loved all of his deliveries. <clears throat> Um, finally, as it's Titans, it's a dark show, when he finally has that unleashing moment and we just see him go berserk was great. It was really well filmed, it was really well just acted, everything. And of course, Crypto with the eyes was great. I really liked it. Um, he has all of, like, Lex's <clears throat> knowledge, like nuclear fission and all sorts of stuff like that was great. Um, he did mention a project, it was like... Rakashasha or something. I have no idea what that was. <clears throat> I meant to actually look it up, but I forgot. Um, so I don't know if that's like a shout out to something upcoming or not. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know. <coughs> um, the scene where he goes and he looks at all the different clones was a very like alien resurrection shout out. Like when Sigourney Weaver is looking at all of them. <clears throat> And I actually kind of expected him to, like, use his laser vision and burn it all down, like Sigourney does with the flamethrower. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and then finally, the ending, which, I'm not going to lie, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Um, 
because when we first saw Jason start falling, that was my, kind of my first thought was like, oh, I wonder if Superman's going to catch him because we've seen Batman and now we can see Superman. And then seeing the title of Connor, I I didn't think they were going to connect it. I thought this was all going to be Connor and then the next episode was going to connect it somehow. I'm not surprised in the slightest. I know a lot of people have been talking about it. Like, should we kill Jason again or not? I think we should kill Jason because he does die in the comics, but I think it should be through the Joker. Like I, like the end of the season or something should have him be like, my mom's alive. I'm going to go find her. And then he leaves and like, that's it. Because that's kind of how he died in the comics was him finding his adopted mom. So I, I did not think he was going to die. I kind of was a little bit suspicious because I was like, Titans does kind of go to the beat of their own drum. So maybe he will. But I'm not really surprised in the slightest. <clears throat> um, I did like Connor like jumping up and down rather than flying though. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but now it's like the Titans team is together. Like the way most people think of Titans. So it'll be really kind of interesting to see how or where they go from here and kind of go back to the Deathstroke storyline. So for people who've seen it, what did you think about Connor and Crypto? What did you think about their trip to Smallville? And just kind of what did you think about the season so far? So go ahead, let me know. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next week.